Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the Samsung's Galaxy A9 of 2018 has been announced while the pricing and release date are not quite confirmed yet. In this video, I'm gonna compare it against the Galaxy A8 Plus which is probably gonna cost less than the A9 2018. So let's get into the video and starting off with the construction. Both handsets are coming with glass back and aluminium frame. The A9 2018 is coming with 6.3 inch display versus it's just 6 inches on the A8 Plus and it's longer 18 by half by 9 in aspect ratio on both handsets. So as for the overall size, the A9 2018 with its larger display is gonna be slightly more longer and just 2.3 millimeters more wider than the A8 Plus, so not a huge difference. The A9 is coming with very prominent camera bump versus the A8 Plus does not have the camera bump at all. So the thickness of the A9 written here is along with the camera bump means the handset is gonna be thin but again the camera bump is there. So as for the bezels, the top and bottom bezels are gonna be thinner on the A9 2018 and the side bezels are also slightly thinner on the A9 which gives it a very high screen to body ratio. And as for the weight, the A8 Plus is gonna be more heavier by 8 grams. For navigation, on-screen controls on both phones and the fingerprint scanner is gonna be on the back and both also have the facial recognition feature. For connectivity, both handsets are coming with USB Type-C port, very good. And the headphone jack on both handsets is gonna be on the bottom side and the loudspeaker on the upper right side on the A8 Plus versus it's facing the bottom on the A9 2018 and at last the A8 Plus is gonna be fully protected against water versus for the A9 Samsung did not mention any screen protection means water can get inside. The screen technology is gonna be super AMOLED in both phones with full HD plus resolution so the screen sharpness is gonna be good in both phones. The Samsung's always on display is gonna work on both phones and to protect the screens there's gonna be Gorilla Glass 4 on the A8 Plus versus it's not specified yet for the A9 but it is also gonna be protected by either Gorilla Glass 4 or 5 so no worries for any scratches. As for the performance aspects, the A8 came with the Samsung's Exynos 7885 which has an octa-core CPU versus the A9 is coming with the Snapdragon 660 inside which also has an octa-core CPU but the 660 is gonna be slightly faster than the 7885 and the Exynos 7885 comes just after the 660 in performance so not a huge difference. And the A8 Plus is coming with 4 and 6 GB of RAM variants versus the A9 is coming with 6 and 8 GB of RAM variants. So the multitasking capacity is gonna be higher on the A9 2018. The A9 2018 is coming with 128 GB of internal storage versus the storage variants for the A8 Plus are gonna be 64 and 32 GB and the micro SD card option is gonna be there on both handsets. The A8 Plus is gonna come with Android 7 Nougat out of the box which can be updated to Android 8 Oreo versus the A9 is coming with pre-installed Android Oreo so the software experience is gonna be almost the same. Now coming to the camera and the A8 is coming with a 16 megapixel sensor with aperture f1.7 and it's coming with 78 degrees of field of view versus the main sensor is 24 megapixels on the A9 with the same aperture size and as for the field of view of this sensor, no need to worry about that because the maximum field of view on the A9 is gonna be 120 degrees thanks to its 8 megapixels ultra wide sensor. The 2x fully optical zoom feature is gonna be there too on the A9 thanks to its third 10 megapixel sensor. The fourth sensor on the A9 is just for portrait shots which we can't take from the back camera on the A8 Plus. For defocusing both handsets are gonna use face detection means it's gonna be fast and for stabilization the software based stabilization is gonna be there on both, no yes. The maximum video recording resolution is 1080p on the A8 Plus versus it's 4K on the A9 2018 but the 4K video recording requires the camera resolution of more than 8.3 megapixels while the wide angle camera is just 8 megapixels on the A9 so I am concerned about 4K recording from this sensor as well or maybe it's limited to just 1080p from this sensor but I could be wrong here. The A9 2018 can also record slow-mo videos while the A8 Plus can't 
but the details of it were very hard to find for the A9 2018. So it should be 120 FPS recording, which is four times slower, or it can also be 240 FPS recording, which is eight times slower. And the Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S8 are also coming with this 240 FPS feature. But one thing I'm sure about is the resolution, which is either gonna be 720p or 1080p, not lawyer. The front camera is gonna be 24 megapixels on the A9, same as the A7, versus on the A8 Plus, the front camera is gonna be 16 megapixels, so more detailed selfies on the A9. But the secondary sensor on the A8 is a wide angle, 8 megapixel sensor, and it has 85 degrees of field of view, which means wider selfies, where a normal camera has about 75 degrees of field of view. And thanks to the secondary sensor, the portrait selfies are also gonna be more hardware based on the A8 versus the software has to do everything on the A9 2018 for portrait selfies. At last for the battery and the A9 is coming with a 3800 mAh battery versus its smaller 3500 mAh on the A8 Plus. So the backup time should be higher on the A9 2018. Both phones are not coming with the wireless charging feature and as for the fast charging, the A8 Plus is coming with 5 volts and 2 amperes charging while the charger rating for the A9 2018 is not specified yet but according to sources the A9 takes about 1 hour and 30 minutes to recharge versus the A8 Plus takes 1 hour and 40 minutes to recharge with a smaller battery. So this is it for this video guys, let me know what you guys think about both handsets and if you found this video interesting then be sure to like it and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.